Welcome to this week's edition of Outdoors Online, a weekly webcast produced by the North Dakota Game and Fish Department. I'm your host, Mike Anderson. My guest this week is waterfall biologist Andy Dingus. Today we're going to talk about the Spring Lake Goose Conservation Order. Uh, what exactly is the Conservation Order? Um, the Conservation Order um, was established in 1999. It's basically an act of Congress that allows us to harvest light geese outside of our normal migratory bird treaty days. So. Anytime we have all our other migratory bird seasons closed, we're able to uh, hold the, con the conservation order. So it just basically allows for harvest of overabundant light geese outside of those normal days. Okay, what's the light geese consist of? What species? Um, light geese are basically snow geese as well as Ross's geese. So um, the snow geese, there's two color phases, the pure white ones, and then there's also a blue goose. And then the Ross's goose is just a little bit smaller goose. It's kind of got a, a shorter bill, um, but pretty easily identifiable in hand in comparison with the snow goose. So. Okay, why do the numbers need to be reduced? Well, they're essentially, since about the early 90s, they've been growing exponentially, and uh, eventually biologists kind of recognize that they're becoming overpopulated. So, um, you know, there's enough people up in the Arctic kind of habitat where these bird, birds breed and they started to recognize some some adverse uh, adverse consequences of that. Basically they're uh, um, destroying their Arctic breeding habitat. So these birds when they when they forage they kind of they kind of grub that vegetation and pull it out of the soil. So um, basically it takes a long time for that for that habitat to rejuvenate and recover from that from that destruction. So Andy, what are the dates for the conservation order this year in North Dakota? Yep, in uh, North Dakota, the conservation order this year opens up on February 23rd, and it uh, will close close uh, this year, May 12th. With the weather outside and all the snow, we probably aren't going to see birds for a while. Yeah, probably not. I mean, the latest reports I've heard is there's not even birds showing up in Nebraska yet. So, um, you know, typically we start seeing birds in North Dakota maybe in that mid-March to that third week of March kind of time period, but... You know, it'll, it'll be quite a bit later this year, I'm guessing. Probably might not see any birds until late March this year. I would guess weather plays a huge part in when the geese will come through North Dakota. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Um, you know, it's very dependent on the amount of snow we got, kind of the ambient temperatures we're looking at, too. So um, this year, you know, we got quite a bit of snow in, you know, eastern North Dakota, northeastern South Dakota right now. Um, and, and it's obviously been pretty cold, so uh, I, would, I would guess it's going to be a pretty late migration this year. And then when those birds, you know, it can change in a hurry, and when those do, birds do show up, they'll probably push through pretty fast this year, I would guess. Where do they winter? Yeah, these, uh, the geese that uh, come through North Dakota, South Dakota is the mid-continent population. They winter primarily. Um, there's the southern reaches are in Texas and Louisiana, but they can winter as far north as Kansas and Missouri too, so anywhere in that general area. Andy, what licenses are needed for the spring conservation order? Yeah, for residents, um, you basically need to be licensed to hunt small game, so you can have a certificate and a combination license, and if you don't fish, you can also have your certificate, your small game license, and your general game and habitat license to be um, to qualify. How about non-residents? In non-residents, um, we basically have a specific license just for the conservation order. It's uh, it's fifty dollars, um, and then if you come and hunt in North Dakota during the conservation order this spring, none, you got to remember none of those days would count against any fall hunting opportunities you might have in, in North Dakota going forward. So for residents, their last year's license is good until March thirty first. And if they plan to hunt after March 31st, they need to buy a new license. Yeah, that's correct. That's something to remember. So if you're going to hunt into April, be sure to get a, get your license you need. Okay, how about HIP certification? Yeah, HIP certification, definitely. Um, we basically go by the calendar year for that. So anyone that's going to hunt during the conservation order this year needs to renew their HIP certification for 2019. Regulations during the Spring Lake Goose Conservation Order are a little different. Yeah, that's right, Mike. Um, you know, just because we're trying to reduce those populations, there are some special provisions with the conservation order. So 
basically hunters, you know, some of those regulations are relaxed. So hunters can use um, unplugged shotguns, recorded or electronic calls, and we also have extended shooting hours. So hunters can basically harvest geese or shoot geese um, for 30 minutes after sunset, um, which is a little different from the fall. I think anybody who lives in North Dakota has seen all the snow geese come through during the spring migration. It's quite the sight, isn't it, Andy? Yeah, it, it can be pretty spectacular. You know, this uh, the mid-continent population that comes through the eastern Dakotas consists of what we estimate to be probably about 15 to 20 million birds. Um, so, and, you know, that can happen pretty in a pretty short, short amount of time in some years, so it can be pretty spectacular sight to see. A lot of good information, Andy. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. Reminder, anglers have until midnight, March 15th, to remove permanent fish houses from North Dakota waters and from any state wildlife management area or federal refuge land. Anglers are advised to remove their house soon because access on many lakes could be restricted due to snow. The deadline of March 15th will not be extended. Fish houses may be used after March 15th, if they are removed daily. For waterfall biologist Andy Dingus and the rest of the staff here at the Game and Fish Department, thanks for joining us for this week's Outdoors Online. We'll see you again next week.